So libraries have become library of things, not libraries with, with only reading material. Um, there are many things that people come to libraries to borrow, and uh, it makes sense to have something in the community that's accessible by everyone be the place for something like a community seed library. My name is Shelley Ross. I'm the CEO of the Red Deer Public Library. So as with all of our library programs, we publicize this program in our newsletter and our link handout and online and had a really enthusiastic response. And then the 20 registrants used our online registration from our webpage and got themselves signed up. So keeping in mind that the Community Seed Library started this spring, so we're growing this, uh, this collection of seeds. So this spring, uh, PV Mart donated packets of seeds to 20 or so um, participants who came to a, a workshop on sowing seeds and growing vegetables and they uh, planted those in their gardens and so those are the first seeds that we will have back. My name is Megan McLaughlin and I am a participant in the inaugural year of the Red Deer Public Library Community Seed Bank. I got to participate in a training session for the seed library and that was a wonderful experience and I look forward to similar training sessions in future years and hopefully, you know, a larger group of people. In our session they were, you know, real experts and total noobs and I hope that that continues because making connections with, you know, other adventurous growers, learning what has worked well for them is just fantastic. It's really motivating. People who hadn't tried gardening were trying gardening. Um, gardening is one of the areas in the library, the library's resources, that's used quite a bit. Uh, gardening and cookbooks, there's a demand for that because people, they want to be self-reliant, they want to try new things, and so the library's there to have the resources to support them in that. So our, our book collection, whether it's a physical book or an online book, is very much focused on what you can do here, what you can do now. So whether it's a windowsill garden or an outside garden, whether it's container gardening, um, whether you have access to a little greenhouse or can make one, we bring in all of those materials. So if you're looking at digging up your sod and putting in a garden, we have how to build things, uh, how to create rich soil, all of those things. And we certainly do focus on what works here and what works now. Rethink Red Deer uh, partnered with us. They had begun um, working on a community seed library. They needed a space for it. And so for this community seed library, um, someone would be borrowing a packet of seeds and then they would grow that packet of seeds into a number of of plants and then they would allow one or two of um, the, the plants to, to ripen and to, to set seed and then they're collecting those seeds and then they're returning them to the library so that the following spring those seeds can be shared in the community. So what I'm showing you here are two different varieties of salsa that I made from homegrown tomatoes. Um, we grew six different varieties, all different colors. And so here you can see salsa made with yellow pear tomato and a red salsa made with a brandywine beefsteak tomato. And so, you know, it's the same recipe. You put in, you know, your peppers and onions and everything. But because the tomato varieties are different, they taste totally different. So uh, here we are in December. So the only example I have of the tomatoes I grew is sort of what's canned on the shelf. But this is sort of just one example of, well, the fruits of my labor and um, you know the, the benefits of growing different varieties. And so the yellow pear tomato and those beefsteak brandy wine, you wouldn't find sort of commonly in the grocery store. And if you did, you'd be paying a premium um, because they're heirloom varieties. So food security is hugely important right now in our community. And when I think about the history of our community, I mean, it's always been critical. Red Deer was great farmland, lots of water, uh, nice hot growing season in a good year. So, you know, this is agriculture, gardening, vegetable gardening is part of our history. 
and will and should be part of our future. So if we can encourage gardeners to come together to share their knowledge and to, to share that knowledge with young people so that just that generational information is handed on and handed on. We're hoping that we will be able to uh, lend seeds in the spring of 2023. So I guess if I have one message, it would just be, you know, seeds want to grow. So if you haven't ever done this before, give it a whirl. You've got nothing to lose. And when it works out, it is, you know, tremendously rewarding. So whatever your trepidations are, I would just encourage you to give it a shot.